Right, the history of dowsing started um, with uh, the Egyptian stonework. There used to be statues on the uh, pictures in the ancient times. There'd be pictures of pendulum dowsing. There'd be pictures of um, guys with dowsing rods. Also, in um, the Chinese emperor in 2200 BC, on the stonework there, you'd find pictures again of guys dowsing. And there was a book, De Re Metallica, written on mining in Germany in the 1556. This was then uh, transcribed into English by Thomas Welton in 1874. Uh, in 1691, Jean Nicholas wrote a book describing how to find springs, treasures, and minerals. Now, also, the first actual words, dowsing rod, appeared in print in a 17th century essay which was written by John Locke. And this was referred to the ability to divine or discover mines of gold and silver. Now, there's another point as we come later into the history of dowsing where... Um, in 1952, Colonel Grattan was employed to locate 750,000 gallons of water. Now, this is for the British Rhine Army, and in those times, dowsing just wasn't done. And uh, for a British colonel to be asked to douse for water for his men, it had to be a brilliant thing to do. So 750,000 gallons of water he found in, in the um, desert by dowsing. Now there's another guy, um, he used his skills in the Vietnam War and he doused to locate the mines and also in the villages where people were found hidden in walls, he located them by map dowsing. So that's how we won the Vietnam War, or I should say the Americans. And as we come back again to 1986, John Mitchell refers to ley lines. Now this was an aspect of Earth energies and this is in the book called The New View Over Atlantis which is a brilliant book all about ley lines and Earth energies and it's another book that should be read and it's to do with the history of dowsing. Now there's another back book going back in time and this is um, to do with Alfred Watkins. He named ley lines in the 1921 book when he um, walked all the lines in Britain and discovered all the ley lines and the good energies there were between churches. And in later times, in 1989, Hamish Miller discovered the Michael and Mary lines. And these were all to do with churches that are on the Michael and Mary lines. So on the Michael line, you'd have all the saints' churches to do with St. Michael. And on the Mary lines, it'd be St. Mary. So all the churches would coincide. Now, what is miraculous about these two lines is that over time, you'll see that these lines actually cross across Britain and they cross one another, and that's why they're called the Michael and Mary lines, because they entwine each other. Uh, in later times, coming up to 2005, Billy Gorn, one of our best British known dowsers, has come up with some dowsing terminology, and that is a well known thing on the British Society of Dowsers website.